he was like, oh my gosh, my mouth's not fair. I'm like, that's because it's, you know, it's because it's wasabi. So, I don't know. <laughs> Did he eat, like, the whole thing? He, he still, thought it was, like, a piece of sushi? Yeah. Yeah, well, he just thought it was just, like, a little, like, si like garnish. Was he crying when he had the wasabi? He went to the bathroom. I couldn't tell. You suggested it. Beautiful theater. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can watch, you know, shoot him up so she can hear him. Those those sound better than a rom com. Really? Why? I mean, I'm surprised. Well, I want action. So I'm not surprised. We are not <laughs> cliches, okay? okay. So rom coms are your favorite. Not my favorite, but in a way, I mean, there's always something really simple and true about many of them. Simple, true. Those are not words I would use to describe a movie like Separate or Together. You've never even seen it. Anyone who has seen any rom-com has already seen that movie. That's a pretty pessimistic view on love stories. More realistic, right? at least more so than Hollywood. Fair. But there happen to be some realistically romantic movies. <laughs> People fall in love all the time. But not like in those movies. Those movies are like cinematic Novocaine. They show when love occurs, but don't show how it continues. Well, you can't have one without the other. I mean, it wouldn't be honest to show love without the spark that started the fire. Most people get caught up offering their kindling to any spark. And those flames start to die and you think there's nothing left to give or get. And you end up settling. Those movies condition us to look for anything that we can find to start up love. They don't do anything to show us how to live it. I guess it's a losing battle trying to argue with a writer. <laughs> Maybe. Isn't it beautiful that people are still seeking it out? Love is really a lot simpler than people make it out to be. And I think it's good that movies remind us of that. They still misrepresent us as people. How do you feel? When we idealize this person out there that is supposed to make us complete, we never imagine this day-to-day -day life in which they're going through the same inner struggles, checkered paths to happiness all the things we actually have to endure. Yeah. But maybe the other person alleviates that uncertainty because you found what you were looking for. Yeah. And just because things aren't working out, the way you expect them to doesn't mean they're not working out. I mean, ideally, there will only ever be one relationship in my entire life that doesn't end. If you want to think about it that way. I mean, even that's doomed in a place where half of all marriages end in divorce. And there's a million ways for things to fall apart. And sometimes that keeps me from even starting. Yet here we are. And there are still people everywhere trying, trying to work it out. And I don't think there's anything wrong with 
wicked movies that remind us of that. People need that. So? So? Shoot em ups? Or superheroes? Let's make it two for the next level, we'll show them all separate together.